Hi, it's Mike with UTastic. I'm here at GoToConf 2014. I'm sitting here with Fred Gimme, who is the president of the Chicago Java Users Group. Thank you very much for taking the time to speak with me. My pleasure. Uh, so, uh, Chicago Java Users Group, um, and, and the president, you're the president of the Chicago Java Users yeah, Group. Yeah, uh, it's not so great, it's, right? It, is, <laughs> it, it, it sounds like a very formal group. Do you have to wear robes? Um, oh, yeah, yeah. We have a whole <laughs> shebang and pretty one comes to wood. Oh, not really. It, is, uh, it sounds <laughs> lovely. I'd have to, to, to visit. But no, uh, so the group, I, I know it's been through a few iterations, but can you tell me about where it is now and, and how you got involved with it? So, so it's, it, it is. So, so what happens is, is we sort of went through like a phase where, where you know, it, there was a couple of transitions that happened, mm -hmm. and, and uh, I know the group was not as active as, as you know, would like it to be in Chicago. So uh, one of the things that happened was, uh, you know, I started getting involved and I started pulling in, you know, we got, you know, Bob Pauline, Mike Manella, and then, you know, Danny Pan, they all come here, and then we start working with the group. And one of the things we wanted to do is, is sort of this idea that... Are you walking away? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, sort of this idea that, Chicago is a great place to be a developer, right? Right. So, so we looked around and 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 it sort of like started like selfishly. So you know, I work for for a company here in Chicago, and then we're like you know looking for developers, and then sort of you realize they're nowhere to be found. You know, it's it's like you know. Then we go to we went to universities, and then we see like oh, there's brain drain. It's like people are going to California, they're going to New York, they don't want to stay here in Chicago, and we're like. Why is that? And and part of it is it was like you know there's we do have like the midwestern values of people just work and stuff, but but we're missing that sort of like that that programmer culture in here. And we're like we have such big companies, you know, you know, like Google is opening an office here. You know, we definitely have you know like uh, Groupon is here, you know, Orbit is here, you know, CME is here. We have such many developers, and we're trying to figure out how can we make this a better place for being a developer, right? So, so you know, the, the first things you know, the start, you know, I started doing a podcast, you know, Java Pub House, okay. dot com, and then it's, uh, it, you know, sort of tried to educate people about how to program in Java. Then we go to Java One, and, and that was Java Pub House. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And dot com. So, so if you check that out. Oh, please do. <laughs> yeah. So, so, uh, so then, then we go to Java One, and so you go back to your group, get involved. So, you know, I come back here, you know, we see that the group was in transition because the prior president, you know, he was just moving away, you know, just, you know, job relocation. And, and we sort of were stagnant a little bit. I mean, our meetings were sort of like, you know, you showed up, there was, you know, the presenter, there were like seven people showed up, you know, two of them were recruiters, one of them was as part of the C job, you know, Chicago just group representative, and then you get three people that show up because they always like to show up. Right. So so then, then we're like, look, at this is, this is, Bad because we have so many Chicago Java developers. Sure. So so we took it like a year and a half ago and we said we're going to push this through. We're going to start getting the word out and we're going to start having a schedule. We're going to start bringing good speakers. And, and and it took a lot of effort. You know, we, we opened up a meetup. We organized the meetups and, and you know, we grew up from essentially, you know, five, ten people. Now in our meetup group we have, we just crushed 900. Wow. Yeah. So, I mean, you, you brought it back to, I mean, in what? It was on life support, and then yeah, you know, I wouldn't say me. It's, it's but I, I, you the team. like we're yeah. you. <laughs> Three guys are president in the robes. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it was no. But but the reality is, we got a lot of you no. Know, I mean, I was lucky enough to run into into Bob and Michael, you know, Jenny, and and they all like like give back the spirit. You know, I mean, as you know, you have to sort of be crazy to do this user group. Right. Yeah, there's 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 really no benefit, you know, to it. Like, you know, I mean there, there might be some, but really there's no financial benefit. It's more time and a lot of them it's a lot of pain. But you know, when you get that that guy that says, you know, thanks for everything, that was right. super cool, then it's like, all right, that made my day for the next month. Right. <laughs> and 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 we really push it because we I do believe and I always say this, it's like a preacher every time I go and talk right. to our group, it's like Chicago has no reason to envy New York or California. Mm -hmm. You know, we have such a great programmers here. We just, you know, need to sort of like lure them out because what happens is, is we have so many, so much Midwestern values that we just right. work, 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 and then go home. You right. know, but but there's no reason for people to move anywhere else. 
you know, we can create a culture here, and that's what we've been trying to build in CJAM. But the interesting parts that we're doing is, you know, we first started with, with one track, you know, we one meeting a month, you know, and then then we sort of like expanded that. Now we have two meetings a month, where one of them is essentially, you know, now we have an advanced track for people that are like, you know, bleeding edge technology type of deal, you know, and that's where you get to see Elasticsearch, that's where you get to see the new features of Spring, you know, and we, we sort of have like a, like a sort of like, a, what we call it sort of like an introductory track, where it's, you know, intro to multi-training, intro to, you know, you know how to how to do unit testing, you know, and, and the idea is, you know, that, that if we have support and if we have the bandwidth, we can start adding the tracks. We have enough people already, you know, in our group that there's there's definitely different interests that we can target. Well, yeah, right now Java is kind of gone, well, it's still in the throes of that revolution of languages. And the mm -hmm. JVM has always been multi, multilingual, yeah. but now we're looking at Scala. We had a, we had a keynote Groovy. here. Yeah. J, um, well, we had a Martin Odersky give a keynote oh, yeah, here. Right. Uh, so Scala is huge, closure. Huge, um, and J Ruby, of course, is still yeah. also you know, yeah, yeah uh, there's some amazing work, and then the Android platform. Mm -hmm. I mean, are you looking at, at some cross pollination of ideas using like outreach with Ruby? And Definitely, and that, that's the other thing that, that we're sort of trying to sort of see. Then you know, I mean, we're we're not just doing Java anymore. We're sort of trying to be more JVM driven. Right, yeah. and 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 one of the things that we're sort of experimenting, we're sort of adding one or two. We're taking one or two of our sessions in there and doing more of like a JVM track. So you know, if you're groovy, you know, or if you are, if you're clo doing closure, and 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 we're trying to see how those fit in if there's interest. Because sometimes what happens is you as a Java developer don't know. Oh gosh, I I could have used Scala here. I could have used JRuby here. You know, and right. and and what we're trying to do is sort of like say, hey. It's not just about Java, you know. There's you have choices, right. you know, and yeah. and you know just you can be aware of them and how you can use them in your daily work. Yeah, Java becomes a language on the Java. Yeah, <laughs> it's on the JVM, right? But, it, but I mean, yeah. In all seriousness, some of these languages are, are so um, polished that it, they stand on, know, their, on own. their own. Yeah, uh, you know, right beside Java as as a first class citizen on on, on the JVM. So. It, it, it sounds like there's like uh, the world is your is your oyster uh, for for Java developers right now. If you know how to, if you already understand the fundamentals of the JVM and jars and mm -hmm. all of that infrastructure, you can do a lot. No, and that's and that's the fun part is 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 it's if you're a Java developer, it's a great time to be one mm -hmm. because you know you can you can uh, just sit down, look at it, and play with all the other stuff that is coming out. You know, even other languages like you know like J Ruby, which is Jars not or you know he's he's crazy. <laughs> but, uh, but you know, it's like the work he does is great, you know, I mean, there's the, the, the work that is being done on the JVM itself, which is sometimes people don't understand, like, the JVM, the machinery that runs this, has like 20 years of the most brilliant minds just putting on it, you know, right. you got Charlie Hahn, you got, you even got Gil Penne, you know, you got Jan Demovich, which is the Eclipse founder, you know, they all have their all ideas, they always talk, they always figure out how to do things better so that, you know, if you're a JVM user, you don't have to. And, 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 you know, and that's one of the other things, like, you know, uh, what I wanted to say about our group is, is we're trying to educate people about all these things, right? right? So one of them is, is look, there's tons of choices for the JVM, and you shouldn't just look at Java as the only tool that you can have. But the other thing we're doing is, is we're training them, or, or we're trying to spread the word about what a JSR is, what the JCP, you know, our group is actually a member, you know, it's, 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 it's a participant, not a voting member, we're a participant on the JCP process. Right. So, so what that means is, is we are starting to have influence, you know, and and the end goal of the Chicago Java Usage Group will be to one day, you know, look at the biggest ones is London and Brazil, right. and you know, and say, look, guys, you know, we are representative. We are, you know, we actually make an influence on the language. We, right. you know, we, with our group, we help shape the way Java looks in the future. So you're even looking at beyond simply having the community come together and have a place to share ideas and communicate, but also to help build a, a uh, groundswell to be able to help become part of the future of the platform. Which is fun, because the things that we're doing is, is for example, we have sort of like this bi-weekly newsletter, right? Mm -hmm. And in this newsletter, we, we have like a professional corner, which is sort of breaking down like things like, this is the JSRs, this is the JCP, 
this is how you contribute. This is how, you know, these are the ones that seem interesting for us to contribute on. And then, then we're, we're sort of pairing that with what Bob Powen is doing, which is getting the doers out, right? right? There's a lot of people that, you know, they love to like sit down and, and, and sort of like passively receive the information, and it's great. But we also want to sort of like tailor out to who like the makers are. So, so like Bob is creating this, what is called the maker track, which is not so much as being on a lecture, but it's almost, you can think about like hackathons, hack days, people that, you know, like want to sit down and type. So, so one of the great things we're trying to do is we're trying to say, hey, we know you're out there. Let's get you in. You know, let's get you get the language even better. You know, let's let's make Chicago relevant not just in terms of, of us being Java consumers, but in terms of shaping the history of Java. Right. And and even with uh, the open source uh, landscape, I know that there are uh, people that I've worked with here in, in Chicago that are creating their own platforms and tools on top of Java. One person I interviewed was Igor Polovoy, who's mm -hmm. created uh, a whole suite of tools, and now he's building a, uh, a, uh, a consultancy on top of those tools. But you know, people are doing stuff here in Chicago. Yes. You don't have to go to wherever, you know, uh, you know wherever uh, the guys are creating Groovy yeah. or wherever they're doing, I don't know if that's Chicago or somewhere else, but there's people here in Chicago that are creating yeah. and, and working with Java and doing interesting things with the platform. And that's what we want to hear about them. I mean, we want to we want to get them out and get them and give them a stage for them to say, hey, this is happening here, you know, and just take note. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, that, that this is a rich community. It isn't just uh, a bunch of people who report in, punch in, punch out. No, and that's and that's what we're trying to you know, I mean that that's the reason why why, you know, the C Junk is there now. It's like we're trying to spread the word and we're trying to make the community here be you know, not just big, but influential. So if I go on meetup.com, I'll be able to find, if I search Chicago Java, I'd be yeah. able to find. Yeah, it, we should be the first link, to, you know, like at Chicago Java Institute Group, CJUG. Our website is cjug.org. Oh, C-J-U-G.org. Yeah. OK, great. And then, yeah, uh, we're on meetup, so you know, sign up. Come on, we, we want to get, our goal is to get to 1,500 people in meetup by the end of the year, so. Oh, okay, great. All right, well then, go sign up. <laughs> thank you very much for taking the time to speak. Mike, thank you so much Appreciate for your time. That point. User groups with lots to say, interviews and more. No way. Sharing great ideas in the tech community. Fascinating conversations, a plethora of information. Find out for yourself today at ugtastic.com.